Hey, beautiful people, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarov. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, and also Aries Rising, weekly general tarot reading, August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. And uh, in this whole video, I'm going to uh, use the Elemental Dignities technique, which uh, you can learn yourself uh, from my um, course that is already online. And uh, the technique itself allows you to read in pairs and even in triples, as I'm demonstrating as well into my um, daily videos. And uh, the course, it's accompanied as well with a, a PDF handbook right now is in on, uh, on sale for $40. So if you are interested into it, uh, just send me an inquiry at my Facebook page or uh, simply give me a, an email by uh, using my website, which you're going to find into the description down below and the website. Also, you can see a full list of my services as well, their pricing. And finally, uh, if you do want to catch me live and want to participate into the free reading contests, which are happening into the live streams, make sure you do subscribe for the channel and hit the notification bell. So with that being said, let's jump into the daily the, blah, blah, the weekly general tarot reading for Aries, August 9th up until August 15th. So first card we have for you, Aries, uh, that will be the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, followed by the second card, and let's see, is there a glare? No, it's all right. So uh, the second card you do have of your reading, that will be the Five of Swords. Uh, moving to the third card of uh, your spread, the third prime card of your spread, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. And the last card of your spread here is we do have uh, the, the last prime card of your spread. We do have uh, the uh, High Priestess. And there are going to be four more cards, which I am going to draw. They are going to be the Catalysts and uh, the Pairs are forming a cumulative message. So these uh, these four once more okay so we do have these four cards and uh it will be quite of a uh how can i say quite of a dynamic week uh for what we can see here um right off the back you are going to uh, bump into somebody as we can see with the queen of pentacles what kind of a person that is going to be we're going to see in a minute but right after uh this uh, this bump things are start becoming rather serious for you either career wise or either relationship wise you may start feeling like you are with your back against the wall although i think that at that point it will be somewhat of a sense of emergency for you to do something, you know, to accomplish or to, to meet certain requirements. Because right after this moment, things are calming down, things are slowing down and you are becoming way more meticulous. You are to become way more optimistic as well uh, and address everything you do with a lot of conscientiousness for you are going to know. Okay, at, at this late stages of the week, you are going to know what you do or what you are doing at that point. It's worth it. It's not just only worth it, but it will be just a something that will carry on with you for a very, very long time. Okay, so that to me, that's uh, that week, it will be a pivotal one to establish a fulcrum, a thing that you are to look forward to for a very long time. So let's uh, scrutinize the reading and start first with uh, the Queen of Pentacles here as an individual. And it is a com the accompanied card. It is the Two of Swords. We do have these two. They do form a passive enemies. And that person is literally sick of watching you doing nothing with all of your potential right there. Okay. And what they do at simply stepping up for you, that is, stepping up into your environment, stepping up into your career, for example, or even relationship-wise, if you will, and just pushing you to develop the potentials, the opportunities, if you will, heretofore unexplored, for there are a lot of these. So at the start of the week, when uh, well, that could be as well a man, it could be also a, a woman, okay? Just because it's a queen, it doesn't mean that it is necessarily a woman. But these people, they are very self-absorbed. 
and they usually do not care at all for how others go by their lives how others you know are tackling with their uh, with their enterprises but for one or another reason, it just you know it's it scrapes down his or her nerves here with these uh, with these two cards. Looking you having so much to give, having so much to accomplish yet, and doing nothing about it. So what they are going to do? It's it's stepping up and just I, I don't know how the help is going to take place though. Okay. Uh, but they are going to step up and simply, the very least, um, make you aware of the potentials uh, and the options available in front of you, which you are paying no attention to, which are heretofore unexplored from your behalf. Very well, that's uh, maybe also an individual who could help you with developing these uh, these potentials like paying for your education for example or offering to pay for your education like uh, giving you the opportunity that you so much need if you are good at something you know it will develop in a very in a many many different gazes for every single areas but it's definitely a person who is going to give you a strong kick so you can you can start growing and as that kick lands, uh, we have the Five of Swords and it is accompanied here with the Prince of Cups or that is the uh, Knight of Cups into the traditional deck. So we do have these two. These are a active uh, neutrals here and uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty strange combo. The Five of Swords with the Knight of Cups. These two, just let me draw them a little bit uh, further from the camera. Uh, so these two are speaking about a couple of things. Now, the first one, it is the limitations or rather like the capabilities that you do possess and that your capability stretches far beyond what you may think you have in store in you. It's just you haven't been put under the pressure or the stress required in order to unlock those capabilities, so to speak. And that's why I think that this Queen of Pentacles person is going to put you in a very awkward, the very least, environment so you can adapt to the, uh, to the, to the environment itself and you can develop those potentials which are heretofore unexplored. And with the um, Knights of Cups, with the Knight of Cups being neutral to the Five of Swords, it does speak that you don't have to put a sweat for it. It's just something natural, okay, that you do have. It could be that you do have a natural way to give love, but by now or everything happened with a push and it had to be fought for, which is something really stupid, at least for me that is. Uh, when people say you gotta fight for love, love is free like the air, man. Lo love is free like wind. You can try to catch it, you can try to trap it. It always finds its way. Okay, it's just it always finds its way. But uh, yeah, it's it's just something that comes with these. Uh, what these two are speaking about, and because they are neutrals uh, as well. That is a little bit uh, more poignant than the, the than the other interpretation because because they are neutral, uh, it will not pose uh, should be the um, the word that I should use here. So it won't pose a uh, a much of an, an excitement from your behalf, meaning that at the start when you do start pushing yourself, you wouldn't know very well do you really like it do, do you do you really want to go down that road but once you do see the results you will be convinced that yes you have to and um, this is a pure speculation but this is what i think that this queen of pentacles is going to do for you it's it will be something very common with people that are very capable when they start thinking that they do not deserve success and this one is going to come about it's going to make a very big slap through your face and you wake up man just wake up and um 
it will make a point or this person is going to make a point the things does not belong to those who are entitled to them okay they belong to those who takes them and so you gotta extend your arm and take whatever you want or whatever you are good for and uh once you do kind of like sober yourself from all that from that very first initial stage of the week the eight of pentacles takes place and uh, it's accompanied with the nine of wands so we do have these two passive uh, passive neutrals and uh, like i said at that stage of the week which is from the middle of the week moving forward towards the late stages of the week you are going to address the aspects of your life your love life your career life the minor details out there that probably beforehand they have been left neglected right now you are going to address all of them with a, a huge amount of conscientiousness and at that point once you do so when you do have that keen eye for the subtleties there there for the finest details you will see that whatever you have planned long time ago or whatever you have yearned for a long time ago it can be manifested you can start initiating it and these two are even speaking that you are more prepared for it than you think you are more prepared to uh, to start a relationship than you think you are more prepared to go for that big job or for that big client or for that big project than you think you are more prepared to put your life in a certain lines then you are prepared then you then you may think and uh, if you are single this is a, a huge thing here okay if you are single with these two cards let me let me put them once more so if you are single you gotta definitely start going out and display yourself in front of the world that you are ready to embrace love because these two are speaking that right now you can attract a lot. And I don't know that many of you are going to proclaim me for it. But for Tarot, there is no such thing as being meant to be with a specific individual. You are meant to be happy. Whom with? It is entirely up to your performance, decision, and as well approach. Okay. But if you are meant to be happy, you are going to be happy regardless where, whom with, how. And um, with these two, it seems that if you do want to be happy with somebody, it's, it's time to make a connection. And whom with? Well, you will have many options to do so. So that's why you got to go out and start interacting with people they don't necessarily dating with people but just interacting with people and you are ending up here the week with uh, the uh, high priestess and uh, it's catalyzed by the knights of um, of wands now knights of wands in this deck it's the king of wands in the traditional deck all right so that is king of wands we do have a passive enemies here and uh, it, it speaks for calmness. It speaks for that. Mm, uh, it is the only way how I can describe the card, uh, these two cards. Now, these two cards are the calmness and the placid place or the placid state. You will be at knowing that things are gonna be all right things are gonna be great i mean you will get for if you are unemployed you will get a solid job or a stable job if you are single you will get a, a partner eventually okay that is just the um the inner voice telling you that everything will be all right and if you are single by the way these two are speaking about surrendering to the uh, to the universe to the faith and just do what you can you know to display yourself in front of the world and the right one is going to come about and the right one is going to come about with these two now these two i will say it's um as a um as a reading how can i say view over it uh, these two are speaking about the uh, uh, not withdrawal but uh, just give me a second subside the subside of the ambitious uh, drive to have a thing in certain frames but letting it to shape itself as it is the most appropriate for you that is 
the reading uh, the, the, the reading view over these two cards. And uh, if you do allow the universe to shape things for you, they are going to be shaped so you can have a 100% efficiency with them, love-wise, career-wise. So that was your um, weekly general tarot reading, Aries. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.